Right, Burnley back into league action and uh, optimism looming here. Chris Waddle making some changes after that dreadful uh, exit out of the FA Cup on the midweek last Tuesday against Rotherham. Burnley must start to get their feet onto the ground, as the manager himself has said, and they must start to roll up their sleeves. Well, Gordon Cowens, Andy Cook and uh, Michael Williams drop out today, but uh, Gordon Cowens and Andy Cook are on the bench. Just let me tell you the side then, Burnley, Marlon Beresford in goal, Chris Bass wears the number two shirt, Chris Finnegan comes back in at three, Jerry Harrison four, five Steve Blatherwick, six Neil Moore, the manager Chris Waddle at seven, Mark Ford at eight, Liao moves up front at number nine, Paul Barnes to partner him with number ten and Paul Weller completes the eleven. As I said, Gordon Cowens, who's uh, having a, a good old revival in his 39 years, he's on the bench with Andy Cook. And, uh, and a nice recall too for Damian Matthew, who's been out in the cold for some time. Northampton Town lineup: Andy Woodman in goal, Ian Clarkson at two, John Frame wears three, Ian Simpson at four, five, Ray Warburton, David Brightwell at six, and number seven is Alistair Gibb. Now this man has played every game on the bench, he's been on the bench for every game, he gets his first start today, that's Ali Gibb at number seven. Carl Heggs, eight, nine at Colin Hill, and number ten, well we all know about this man, John Gale, in uh, Jimmy Mullins' days in Division One, he was the big terroriser up front. He's playing for the Cobblers today, at eleven is Roy Hunter, David Seal at twelve, Michael Warner at thirteen, and... Uh, a former Walsall player, now a player coach here at Southampton, Kevin Wilson, he's on the bench as well. And just a warm welcome, today's mascot, um, the Burnley mascot is Katie Blamere. She's nine years old and lives in Todmorden. She attends Cornholm Junior School and enjoys football and gymnastics. Her favourite players are Marlon Beresford and Paul Weller. Hope you have a good afternoon today, Katie, and let's hope the Clarets can win here against third position in the table, Northampton Town. John Gale gained a good reception um, from the Burnley faithful here in the former popular side. The North Stand, as it's now called. So it's going to be Lee Howie and Paul Barnes up front for the Clarets. And here we go then, and Burnley will be attacking the cricket field stand end. And the referee decides his match officials are ready. Why are we waiting so long? Here we go. Steve Blatherwick forward now. Very strange strip from uh, <laughs> Northampton Town, a really like a salmon pink, if you like. If you like that sort of thing, it's uh, Gale up there, so too is Blatherwick, he wins the header. And Moore clears long, hard clearance from Neil Moore, Barnes will chase it. And left back is Frayne, John Frayne, experienced campaigner for Northampton Town. Brass heads forward. That was a late decision by the referee. Messiahs, who uh, obviously looking for to be a whistle-happy referee at the early stages. Free kick taken by Brightwell. The ball runs way past Howie, who's uh, what I say playing up front, but he's back in the defence at the moment. The change round from Chris Waddle's uh, selection today. That's Chris Finnegan. Let's that one. Whoa, Moore gets the ball back for a goal kick. Cannons off a Northampton player. And remember, Northampton were in the bottom league, the third division last year. So they've made good progress. Excellent progress for them, enjoying life, a very direct side. 
very strong, very physical. It's Gale again on that far side for the Cobblers. And an extremely uh, quick rise to fame, Northampton in the mid-60s. It took them four seasons to get from the fourth to the then of first division and another four years to go all the way back down to the fourth division which was a rather amazing in those days and helping them rise to fame was the former Wolverhampton man Ron Flowers he he played for Northampton and well as well all those years ago too long to remember I think free kick to the cobblers then John Gale offside against him, the referee uh, blows up Burnley free kick. Marlon Beresford will uh, collect the ball, bring it to uh, more of a position to take that goal kick from. It's coming up to three minutes, still no goals. Well, I say still no goals. It's uh, quite nice to be at nil apiece here at the moment. That's how we're going up there. Barnes to try and latch on to that one. More. And the referee blows for a free kick. And the uh, Northampton man fouling there. In his salmon pink shirt. It's more of a tangerine when you look closer. Waddle. To float it in, a good cross, Wellers in there. Good defending. And Harrison, back in the side, of course. Wide for Vinicom. Left side for the Clarets. Vinicom to take him on. And he's brought down, bad foul. Free kick to the Clarets. Vinicom going uh, all the way to the byline there, but the, uh, the full-back on that first side, Clarkson had other ideas. And for that, he'll receive a booking. <laughs> the player manager, Chris Waddle, to take this free kick on that far side, right outside the Bob Lord stand here at Turf Moor. It's Waddle it is, who hammers it in. Back post. Oh, and Moore's up there. Held in there, Harrison, a good shot from him. Just on 18 yards, Jerry Harrison thundered that one in. And again, the bodies of the Northampton defence get in the way of that one. Waddle on that far left now for the Clarets. That ball intercepted once again. Vinicom, early ball in. Up for Howie. Howie let it slip past him. And Blatherwick gets the ball, and it's out, it's the throw into the Cobblers, Northampton Town, John Gale then. A bye for Burnley by Jimmy Mullen, and Burnley had gone into the first division of the ne then Nationwide League. Brass. It's the captain, Ray Warburton. Number five, free kick to the Clarets. <laughs> Burnley Floodlights full on on this last Saturday in November. It will be, of course, an away fixture on Tuesday evening at. Uh, Bristol City, Burnley going to, on their travels again, so it's important for Burnley to get a result here today. And Barnes, will he keep it in? Just about. And a corner. It's Paul Weller to take the corner far side for the Clarets then as the 
only man or only two men in that uh, Northampton half. It's uh, Brass and Vinicum who's about to pick the ball up. Play it wide. No, he's not. Doesn't choose well. It's Waddle twisting and turning. Good ball. And it's uh, Mark Ford. Waddle plays it in once again. Looking at the back post again. There's Blatherwick up front with John Gale. Battle of the bowling heads here. Brass. Finnicum again, seen a lot of the ball in these first five or ten minutes or so. And this is what we're going to try one. Oh, and it took a deflection. The looping ball for keeper Woodman. So Burnley looking lively in the early exchanges of this game. Blatherwick's header. Brass. Harrison, nice play again, but he's going to run into trouble. Still has the ball, Harrison, well played. Finnicum finds Barnes. Harrison down that left-hand side, it just runs out for him. Encouraging signs for the Clarets in this game. Side again, the lines on, on that far side, the referee waves it on. As Bass finds Waddle. Bass peeling away on that right hand side, but still Waddle has possession for the Clarets. Inside right channel now, he's got three men on him nearly. Good crossing, but again, the defender Warburton's there. The ball switches over to that far left hand side. Weller pulls back, looks across field, finds Brass. As we were, back with Chris Waddle then. Two men look on. Still Waddle just nicely, nonchalantly put it in. It was a good idea from Chris Waddle. Just ran away from Jerry Harrison. And Woodman picks up to kick into the afternoon air. Gale up there. Ford. There's more in actual fact. Vinicum. Again, high up, but no, Claret rises for it. Moore goes in on his marker, and the ball back with Marlon Beresford. He in turn kicks long. Barnes gets the back header. How he gives it in back, and a shot from Barnes. It's not a bad effort either from Paul Barnes. Right foot shot. The two uh, front men working well there at uh, that particular time. And a volley from Barnes, which is just wide of the goalkeeper's left-hand post. Uh, to collect this one, he needs some support, he's got Waddle behind him, he's two men on him, Paul Barnes, the cross comes in, oh, and a chance for Howie, oh, nine yards, and that's such a deflection. Swaddle will take left footed then. A good one too, and the goalkeeper caught stretching there. Blatherwick's in there, but he heads it over the bar.
Vladovic wins that one easily for Burnley. This is Barnes, the referee's blown up again. I don't really know, was that handball? I don't know. So it's Northampton with their the unusual salmon pink and tangerine shirts, if uh, it could be described as that. Then possibly I'm colourblind. Free kick then. Warburton takes it. Good for Gale. Plays it in. Marlon Beresford. Right outside his 18-yard box, gonna kick long. Gale. In the way of Vinicum for Burnley, left-hand side again. As the uh, in and out sort of a player, Chris Vinicum plays a couple. Runs left out for a couple and uh, gets injured as well, so that won't help. But he's back today, doing his part on the left side and side for Burnley. Cross comes in, and the ball headed away by the number four that time, Ian Sampson. And still no goals here. Burnley doing a lot of the pressing at the moment, and Ford finds it. Put a good pull back from Ford. But Barnes couldn't get it under control, it ran away from him and uh, don't really think he expected it, Ford gave the header then. Again looking for Barnes, Barnes seems to be uh, limping a bit after that. Weller plays it in. Full back frame, trying to find Gale, finds him. Gale, a little bit off balance there, and a bit of fouling from the big man. Renowned for that, uh, even his days at Burnley. Very powerful the centre forward. Now Waddle for Brass. Brass first time crossing. It's uh, Alice to give the man that's been on the bench for every game. Bob, this one for Northampton. He's uh, He's checked on the halfway line and a free kick to Northampton then. Free kick. And the ball played in. Gale's up there, Blatherwick goes down. No foul, says the referee, now he's blown. Rob late with his decisions on numerous occasions, uh, the referee. <laughs> Waddle, now wide here for Harrison, can he get the ball across? A good cross, but again the men lining up for Northampton on that six-yard line, clear the danger for the visitors. Brass having a chase on here. It's uh, Carl Heggs and uh, Brass as well. Just manages to find Waddle and that's Bladerwick. Back for Beresford and uh, Gales looking on in. Just taken away by Harrison. Harrison takes the return from Howie. And well, uh, well, he won't get to that one. Northampton pick up play again. And Moore puts it just over to Weller then. Just kept in. Howie. Chase on here for Barnes. Can he get to that one? The defender puts it out, falling on that far side. 16 minutes gone here. Burnley nil. Northampton Town nil. Barnes again on that far side in the goal kick. Barnes doing his best to get that ball over, playing a bit of wing play from the former Birmingham and York City man. <laughs> Looking at the honours list for uh, Northampton Town, the 
Division 2, runners up in fact 64 65, that's when they went into the first division. Division 3 champions in 62 and 63. That was the year, of course, Burnley went to Wembley against Tottenham and lost out to Tottenham Hotspur. Division 4 champions in 86 87 and Division 4 runners up in 75 76. So, uh, they won quite a few honours in their time, uh, more mainly in the lower regions of the Football League. Howie. Gale. Ford. with Blatherwick and Waddle looks around for options here off on a bit of a run perhaps Howie square ball for Harrison Harrison again having a good look himself and that's gone straight to the funny shirt of Northampton Town that's uh, Gibbs ball it's a uh, rather a, well it's going to run out good idea from Gibb he was looking for Heggs on this near side, but that obviously uh, didn't come off for him. And Blatherwick, how he goes up. Ford. Waddle. How he... the back of Heggs and Chris Brass manages to clear the danger straight for manager Waddle that was a foul and manager Chris Waddle by David Brightwell plays it forward for Gale that was Gale coming down like a, a ton of bricks on uh, Steve Blatherwick and he's got a, an injury there and that doesn't look too good at, at the moment for he's up though he's up on his feet and really you can't really expect anything else when you're playing against the big John Gale Yeah, Brass gets the header out. Brass again. Barnes. Harrison. Here's more. Chris Finnicum holding back there. Weller. Finds Vinicum now on that left hand side down that touch line. Alistair Gibb looks on him, Riz Weller. Just floats it in. Okay, for Howie now he's up there, but two is the number six. <laughs> Vinicum. And again hits the Northampton player. Burnley bring it forward again. Finnicum stabbed from him, Barnes back for Weller here, Weller stabs it forward, looking again this time for Ford. Burnley have a throw in far side. With 21 minutes gone here, Burnley nil, Northampton Town nil, Weller chips it in once again. Looking out for Weller, oh, that was Howie in, but it looked like he was going for goal there. Right, from about nine yards. 
Weller. Perhaps he's going to try one, no. Barnes lays it off for Weller. Weller comes steaming through, no foul. Oh, is it? Yes. It's a throw in on the far side, no foul against Paul Weller then. It's Chris Waddle that's gone over to that far side, jinking and hammers that one in again. The Northampton defender heads that away. Moore, who puts the ball out. Clears up and gets a fortunate touch to Harrison. Harrison steaming forward for Burnley. Nice slip in. The linesman's flagging on this near side. The referee waves play on, acknowledges his linesman, but Burnley well steaming forward then looked quite good as Blatherwick heads forward. And Burnley needs a seeming to get the upper hand here at Turf Moor. It's Waddle on this near side. He's checked again by the number 11, Roy Hunter. Waddle lays it in into the area. Howie's up. Just a flick from Howie just over the top of Weller. So throw in on that far side for the visitors. Gale has the ball and had it and lost it. Then he can plays it up for Marlon Beresford. Kicks it out of touch, and that wasn't uh, the planned thing, I wouldn't have thought. And he apologises to his teammates for that. Barnes, bit of space for Barnes, perhaps just threads it through to Howie. Howie can't get on the end of that one, it lets him spin through him. And uh, here's Blatherwick. And uh, the ball played up again. Brass is here, Blatherwick's here. And Blatherwick comes away with it. Kept in play as well. Barnes battling all the way. Brass picks up the ball. Goes straight back to the captain Warburton for Northampton. He in turn gives it to Andy Woodman, former Crystal Palace goalkeeper. He was understudy to Nigel Martin, apparently at Selhurst Park making a single appearance before he joined Exeter City and uh, he had a brief time with the Grecians before joining the Cobblers on a free transfer in March a couple of years ago. He's only missed three league and cup matches since and he's recently made his 100th and most impressive appearance for the Cobblers in a 2 0 away victory at Plymouth. And uh, this is Marlon Beresford, the Burley goalkeeper, with this free kick then. Peggs comes away with it again. Brass, well, it hit his uh, legs. Bladderwick here, John Gale looking on, gives it back to Marlon Beresford. Good long kick this time from Marlon, straight down the inside right channel. Barnes looking for it. Brightwell got the header in first. Here's uh, Ford. Harrison square ball for Weller. And Ford, well, it's just a fraction out for Chris Vinnicum. As the Burnley bench, all the seats are taken over there, all seated at the moment, whether it will get to standing up in the second half for the Burnley coaching staff who 
just have to see it's a throw into Northampton far side of the field then can he come in as well Howie just manages to oh and that was a foul on Lee Howie Moore takes the free kick Blatherwick this one again trying to get over to that far side where Vinnikin was lurking well we'll pick this up one however back for more Waddle incidentally in Misham not here summarising this afternoon he's doing the half time striker draw and he'll appear on the pitch so wish him luck for that Vinnikin cross comes in the goalkeeper collects Woodman for Heggs on this near side for Northampton been closely watched by Ford Frayne Steve Blatherwick oops nearly knocked uh, Chris Brass off his, uh, off his feet there once again he tries another one down that line and Howie just tried to keep that one in Lee Howie I think they'll try the throw eventually. Long throw from Brightwell. Heggs gets the back on for Gale. Some neat play from Gale, and again the ball runs away and Brass comes away with it. Howie leaves it for uh, Ford and he in turn leaves it for Neil Moore. Who himself had Premiership experience with uh, Everton, very limited, and of course Norwich from the first division. Neil Moore plays it long again, up for Barnes. Waddle. Got Brass peeling away. This could be a good ball if just Brass can get it and put the ball over. It is a good cross, but again, the defender. It's the uh, captain, Warburton. Waddle gets it back, tries to thread it through for Brass. But that was a foul that time by Chris Waddle. Chris Waddle not. Um, Well, we get this free kick eventually. Taken by Brightwell. Blatherwick there. And Burnley clear this more needs to get away. It's called falls to Brass. And Howie. Wide ball for Waddle. Now they can Chris Waddle get that ball to the balance. He's gonna use it. Cuts inside, gonna try and sell up for a shot. It's a good effort too from Chris Waddle outside the penalty area. Only one goal for Burnley so far, looking for his second there. And uh, a good cross too, and that's to the back post. Carl Heggs, who were doing the business on that left-hand side for Northampton. Still Northampton in possession. Midway inside the Burnley half then. Roy Hunter tries to play it wide, and uh, a good interception again by the Clarets. Moore and Barnes up there. Chris Waddle again. Barnes gonna feel to the right here. Paul Barnes needs a confidence boost and needs a goal himself just to get him back on the right lines. And that took a deflection. That's going in. And the keeper, Woodman, to keep an eagle eye on that one. It was uh, looping towards him. And it came off his uh, own defender frame there. Vinicum. He gets knocked over by Gibb. Come on, 
Brass leaves it for Blotherwick. <laughs> bit of wizardry from the, the master. And that took a wicked deflection once again. Uh, but again, each time the keeper not causing him too much trouble, just a floating nick as Chris Waddles, I think it was on a shot that time. Seen a lot of the ball, Chris Waddle at the moment. That was a, a foul by Frayne, and that could be another booking for Northampton Town. John Frayne catching the Burnley manager. Just a telling off, I think. In for Howie. Howie turns, looks for options, looks for support, finds it in Brass. Brass's cross. Howie's up there with the header, but it balloons it over the top. But it's a well worked move by the Clarets. 33 minutes gone here in the nationwide League Division 2. It's Burnley nil, Northampton Town nil. Burnley uh, showing good presence in this first half and looking as if they mean business and trying to wash away the Blues from midweek. That's forgotten about now. It's going to be Andy Woodman to take this goal kick for Northampton Town. Looks up well as there. Gale misses it as well. Hammered away by Vinnikin. Up for Barnes here. Harrison. Of course, Jerry Harrison, another player on the uh, transfer list, as well as Damian Matthew. He's, uh, he's on the bench this afternoon. And a recall for him, he's been out of favour in the call, Damian Matthew. Um, former Crystal Palace man, bought by Adrian Heath when he was here. It's forward on that far side. But uh, somehow it goes wrong for Burnley. Moore. Vinicom. Crossed in again, but again hammered away by the number four, Ian Sampson. chance for the Clarets, it's Wellow, he pulls it back and Chris Waddle, it hit him as he came for the ball, it was a bit unfortunate there for the Burnley player manager it just hit him, he couldn't get the control he needed in the box and it was good play again from Weller for the Clarets and Blatherwick does exceedingly well I'm sure he was foul there but uh, the referee gives advantage to Burnley and Waddle in a, a good position here he takes the return but Waddle goes down <laughs> Chris Waddle goes down in a heap, I don't know whether he'd uh, run into a divot there. There's certainly nobody on him at the time. And ball back up in the Burnley half now, in the penalty area. So, let's say good pressure from Burnley in this half, but yet no goals uh, from the Clarets. It's Northampton with their turn to do some attacking here. More. Barnes heads down for Harrison. Waddle just lays it off for Brass. Brass gives it in back. And more. Vinnikin peeling away on that far left hand side. It's going to be Vinnikin. Will he get to that one? He has. Gibb looking on at him. And it's a corner. with the corner then for the Burnley near post again Northampton very very packed defence as you might expect very mean defence that was a foul on Chris Finnegan so Burnley have a, a free kick on that far side nine minutes to go before the break then live commentary from Turf Moore free kick which Waddle takes hammers into the box it's going to be hard getting past this Northampton Town defenders. That was Moore trying to flick it back. Ends up with Andy Woodman, an easy pick for him.
kicked high. Now then, here's Barnes. Chips it in, oh, how he was there on the six yard line. So too was the defender Brightwell. So another corner to the Clarets. Can they start to get something from these dead ball situations? Umpteen corners they've had and upkeep corners they will keep getting, but can they score? It's going to belong to the back post, if does it to the near post, Chris Waddle holds one hand aloft, it's to the back post, way over to Bladerwick, Bladerwick goes up but Gale's marking him as well. And by Harrison, Brass, oops that didn't work out but it just went out off Eggs, I think uh, Chris Bass was hoping to get that return. Nutmeg in the uh, number eight for Northampton, but it didn't just come off. Marlon Beresford then just to the edge and outside his 18-yard area. A good left foot kick downfield. Again, Howie does well, climbs up well, but um, Burnley have it again with Weller. Weller just uh, does well, he's still got it. Paul Weller, can he get through and uh, finish? Oh, and it took a deflection again. Some good play from Paul Weller. Very direct player for Burnley, and he nearly put the Clarets in the lead there, that would have been a super time to score as uh, Paul Weller again showing why he's uh, in this Burnley first 11. Another corner to Burnley, again taken by Waddle, again Woodman this time collects that one. Around six minutes left then to the half-time whistle in this nationwide League Division 2, Brass plays it up, Howie, just unkind to Lee Howie, to sort of hit him on the chest there. Harrison have the ball taken away from him in rapid fashion, Moore, Weller, Harrison. Waddle. Minikim collects that one on the far side once again, hammers it in again, but again, this time the number four, Sampson's there to clear the danger. This is John Gale, watched this time by Moore. Harrison in, but again, Northampton come away with the ball, it looks like Jerry Harrison's taking a knock with that challenge and an immediate uh, permission for the physio Nick Worth to come on for Burnley. Uh, Jerry Harrison, well, he gets back in the side, he gets suspended, then he gets injured, and he gives 110%, and that's probably why you find he's just stretching out again here at Turf Moor, with all the uh, the young lads playing, comes on, no stretcher needed, hopefully not, and uh, no goals yet here at Turf Moor. It's tight at the bottom, but it's also very tight at the top, apart from Watford. They seem to be romping away at the moment, but they'll have their sticky patch, no less. And that early defeat at the beginning of the campaign, in fact, the opening match when Burnley went down to a goal to nil, well, it wasn't all that bad a result. When you look at the state of Watford now, Chris Waddle did say after that game that Burnley could have or should have drawn it one apiece, but they didn't. And uh, Burnley, that bounce up and falls back here with Marlon Beresford, who kicks long again for the Clarets. Looking for Barnes. That was a foul by Paul Barnes, according to our referee here. Let's have it taken in the uh, correct position. Paul Barnes is going to be spoken to by the referee, perhaps. He hasn't really acknowledged him yet, no. No, he's not going to bother speaking to Paul Barnes. He's uh, been remonstrating with the referee a wee bit. The Burnley fans would like this Andy Woodman to take a, well, a bit sharper with his free kicks, a bit quicker, as it were. Woodman takes it. Ball running through, Marlon out to collect it. John Gale looking for something here, but uh, obviously not. Back to Marlon. Brightwell gets up. And that's Harrison. Weller, 
Barnes. Back for Waddle. Waddle. Two men closing down on him. Barnes sprays it wide for Chris Brass here. Brass. Cross comes into good cross to the back post. Well, it's up there. The ball just landed on the roof of the net there. Paul Weller down, I don't know whether he's injured or not. Well, he seems okay again. Plenty of go mouth incidents, but uh, Burnley haven't broke the nets here this afternoon yet. A couple of minutes to go before the half time whistle here at Turf Moor. But Andy Woodman once again to take this goal kick for the Cobblers. John Gill, spot of fouling on Steve Blatherwick. There's been a fair old battle going on between these two big lads so far this afternoon. And Neil Moore obliges with a free kick then. Blatherwick went up for that uh, free kick. Here's Howie. Brass. Ball kick. Well, the linesman has had the last say there, and uh, it's uh, unanimous. It's a goal kick then, so that's going to take a little bit longer towards the interval. Just under a minute then. Any time after that, of course, there'll be stoppages. And then the woodman continues to uh, take his time. Free kick against John Gale, foot up on Steve Blatherwick. Waddle. Barnes going to try one, a good effort, oh, and a good save, a punch from Woodman and Barnes, that back of the old form there for Paul Barnes, looking very sharp moving forward, unleashing a left foot shot, which the goalkeeper just manages to... Uh, Hurry away. So the umpteenth corner for the Clarets in this first half. Again to be taken by Weller on that far side. Another one into the near post. Again the tangerine shirts amidst the six-yard box. Again, how he's up there, but he... Uh, this is Vinnikin going to try one. And it's wide of goal, well wide of uh, Woodman's right-hand post. Surely the referee is going to blow for the... Uh, Half-time whistle soon. <laughs> Gail gets a good flick on. Moore's there. Weller's back here. Gives it a good whack down field. Oops, that was a mistake by the two Northampton defenders. Paul Barnes looks on. Woodman has to hurry his kick this time. And it goes the way of Northampton Town just uh, as we move into the. Well, it's nearly half time. I can say we're seconds away from that. The free kick just on that verge of half time to the visitors here. On that far side, Burnley give away a free kick. And they're going to have to take the. They're going to have to be quick because John Frame stepped over there to take it. But by the time they've done it, I'm sure the referee will blow for half time. <coughs> Frame with the free kick then into the Burnley box, headed away by Moore. Very much improved performance by the Clarets. They've done everything this uh, half but score. Paul Barnes was the really the best effort, I think, really, just before the interval. He beat his man and got a left foot rifling shot, which Andy Woodman just parried away. But some good approach play from the Clarets, and they've had they've been mainly territory all the Clarets in the first half. Burnley nil, Northampton Town nil here at half time.
came in York in April 1992 for the one promotion. Uh, and later that season, the squad is on the goal of the campaign equaliser in a 3 1 victory at Rochdale. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together. Big round of applause for Ian Meacham. Thank you. Thank you. From Ian to Ian, together with John Stringer, we're going to make the draw for today's strike. We've got three prizes today, as we normally have. First prize is a cash prize, second prize, and third prize today. Fifteen pound vouchers, which you can spend today. Andrew, the club shops here at Turf Corn. That's the first prize, which is a cash prize. And that goes to ticket number 11735. Well, the Clarets getting a rapturous applause from the fans. Good second half, uh, good first half from Burnley. We're hoping for a, an even better second half. Let's hope Burnley can hit the back of the net and get three points, which is all about now. now out of all competitions, of course, they're. Uh, they concentrate on the league is an old cliche, but it's happened as well at this stage of the season. And that uh, away match on Tuesday at Bristol City, that's uh, another all-important game for the Claret. So let's see if we can get three points here first this afternoon and then go on with confidence on Tuesday. Burnley will be attacking the east and then the former be-all end of the ground there with the goalkeeper Andy Woodman to beat. David Searle is on for Northampton Town then, the number 12. It's Northampton to kick this one off. Alistair Gibb will uh, do the honours for the Cobblers then. And away we go. Ball straight into touch. Waddle's back header. Cleared by Sampson, the number four. Barnes quickly into that one. Waddle tries to set Barnes up, but that one spins out of play on that far side. A reminder that the Clarence review tape will be out in a couple of weeks' time if you're looking for Christmas presents for loved ones. Just wish there perhaps could have been a few more highlights to talk about and show you, but uh, perhaps that's going to be in the second part of the season. Let's hope for that. Chris Brass with the throw in for the Clarets and a flick back from uh, Waddle. It's Barnes far side, turns well, pivots well. Howie, Howie lays it back for Waddle on that right hand side for Burnley. Waddle, cross comes in from him. Now then, can Barnes control it? Falls to Harrison. Harrison for Brass here. Brass gonna fire it in. It's a good one and well a Hardy headed that one across the face. I thought he was gonna head it towards goal and well a well. It was unmarked at that far post, very rare opportunity there from the Northampton defence, being a bit generous on that occasion. Well, that's a long one for Brass to chase. And that's dispatched into the Bob Lord stand. Harrison back for Waddle. And the cross comes firing in. Headed away there. That's, uh, that's really showing some pace, this lad. Number seven, Gibb, cross to the far post. Can Blatherwick get there? Oh, and that's a miss from six yards. Goodness me, that number seven, Alistair Gibb, really put on a burst of speed there and nearly caught the Burnley defence out. A little too much weight on it at the end of the day, but it wasn't a bad effort either. Barnes going to get the header to that? I don't really know. Not from here, we couldn't really tell. Gale. 
Good control from Gale on his chest. Model chasing back offside. Linesman's flagging on this near side. The referee will uh, halt the play. He's given a... <laughs> he hasn't even seen the linesman on this near side. They've been flagging for offside. And he has now given a Northampton Town a free kick. So the uh, referee, Mr. Mazer, ignoring his linesman on this near side, frame with the free kick for Northampton Town. Vinicum. This is Brightwell for Frayne on that far side. Long ball from him. Looking for Heggs. And Brass following him all the way. Still Heggs cross comes in. For the back post, Gale's there, and that's a dangerous one. Oh, and the shot, oh, and the goal goes in. And it's Alistair Gibb who's got the goal, the man who's been on the bench for most of the season, up till today, of course, and he bags the goal for the Cobblers. Exactly what I've got to say. Just four minutes into the second half, 49 minutes, Gibb gives Northampton town the lead. After all that play from the Clarets, all that pressure, Brass plays it forward. It's just exactly what Burnley didn't want. And Moore gives away a free kick in the centre circle. And that's unfortunate for the Clarets. Showed some pace in this second half, the number seven scorer of the goal, and Blatherwick heads out for a corner to the visitors. So this number seven obviously trying to prove a point. who doesn't really want to hurry his corner and the referee would like him to get on with it no doubt blown for the corner to be taken launches it in there and Marlin takes it while the free kick foul on Marlin Beresford as he went for that one and the referee right on the ball there How he's flicked, but again finding uh, Frayne, the left full back for Northampton Town, and Gale with a chase on with Steve Blatherwick. And Blatherwick, no nonsense, dispatched it out. Referee's certainly had taken a turn for the worst here. That was obvious to everybody in the ground that that was a goal kick, and he suddenly decided to give the visitors a corner. So take his uh, referee shirt off. You may find a Northampton Town shirt under there. Oh, that's a dangerous one. Moore at the back post. Still Neil Moore, and uh, the man again, Gibb, taken away from him by Moore. Well, a set forward on the run there, but it's going to run away from Mark Ford. I called him Glenn Ford the other week, and so I don't think he'd appreciate that. He's a, a like a 50s actor who probably is no longer with us. Waddle switching play for Vinicum, left side. Played in for Harrison, Harrison into the box, two men surround him, he can't really find Weller and Gibb just keeps it in on this near side, but he doesn't actually, the linesman's flagging for a Burnley throw-in. Oh, no, 
Barnes. That's going to run away as well. Did he keep it in? He must have done. Waddle. Oops. Played in by Brass. A good cross. Oh, it was looking for Weller again. Right on the centre spot there. Now that a chance for Ford here. Oh, and he puts it to Waddle. And again, that ball, it goes the way of the Clarence. Waddle letting that one roll away. Waddle's cross. Another one. And Barnes! Just wide from Paul Barnes. Well, the Burnley fans uh, shouting for Andy Cook, who, of course, is uh, sat on the bench here this afternoon. No doubt he'll get the opportunity to come on. And Gordon Cowens and Damian Matthew as well. Sat it, sitting it out this afternoon. This is John Frayne. Oh, and that's a dangerous ball. Out comes Marlin and gives it a good whack. Waddle <laughs> keeps it in amazingly on that far side. <laughs> Binnicum. Barnes. Oh, it just hit the boot of the Northampton defender there. This is Gibb again. He's uh, look at him go, this fella. It's tremendous pace offside. John Gale on that occasion. in this is how we the ball taken away from the uh, Burnley man Blatherwick with the header Ford heads it wide out that far side it's uh, Waddle in possession for Burnley and Vinicum here right foot cross from Vinicum this time but again, Frayne's in the way for Northampton. Gale. Moore trying to get the better of Gale. And here come Northampton again. And that ball will be mopped up by Chris Brass. Kick long by Beresford. Straight to his... Keeper in the opposite number one shirt, Andy Woodman. Brass high in the air. Keeping away from Chris Waddle there. Blatherwick can't keep it under control, but Northampton do. Gale. <laughs> Brass, I don't blame him for backing out of that one with John Gale. He's a He's a monster on the field, John Gale. Finnicum has to dispatch it under pressure there. 12 minutes into the second half, and just a reminder that Burnley trailed by a goal to nil. That goal on 49 minutes by Alistair Gibb for Northampton. Hunter with the throw in, long throw specialist. Weller puts in the boot and he gets a whack on the, uh, presumably on the instep there. How is it? Hunter, oh, it's a wicked one from Hunter to the back post, but Beresford had it covered. <laughs> Streaking down that far side is Chris Waddle. Another good floated one, Barnes can't get to it. Goal kick. Burnley are going to make a substitution now, I think. It's Andy Cook who's coming on. It's Paul Weller that's coming off.
Well, that's the decision made. Paul Weller, who's uh, had a very good game up to now. It's a tactical move, it must be, uh, to allow Andy Cook to come on. So the Clarets have a throw in just under the television gantry here on the north stand. Vinicom takes it for more. He dispatches it wide for Chris Brass in the right wing back position for the Clarets. Here's Waddle. And Cook's first touch of the ball shields it well. Still looking for the. Oh, a bit hard from Andy Cook. Very hard to judge the pace of the game when you come on. And it takes a few minutes to just get into that, and then that's probably why Andy Cook just uh, hit over, hit that pass onto that far right hand side. Well, we got this throw in from Frayne on that far side. Now Harrison just couldn't take the ball with him and a, a mass of uh, Northampton Town defenders appeared from nowhere there. Ford gets the header in but it's a, a loose ball in the end. This is Vinicom to cut this one out but he launches it upfield and Andy Cook and Paul Barnes and of course Lee Howie up there now for the Clarets. Three strikers hoping to get Burnley level shortly. And this is Gibb, is it? But uh, Bladowick does the honours and gives it a good whack. I think that took a, a deflection off Gibb. That's Heggs header and Ball and Beresford and John Gale, and that could have been nasty, you know, the big man. And uh, up, up they both went. No foul. Flick on from Cook. Again looking for Howie. Northampton seem to be outnumbering Burnley at the minute. Gibb here on the near side for them. Again, a one to the back post, Gale and Brass together, and it looks like uh, there's a bit of shirt pulling going on from the big man. <laughs> Chris Bass just giving him a nonchalant push there. And the referee going to have a word, perhaps, with both of them, surely. All friends again, presumably. Got a good reception when he came on for Northampton before the kickoff from the Burnley faithful. But not so much now, I fear. <laughs> well, that was definitely a foul on Andy Cup. The uh, referee awarded a free kick. I thought he was going to play advantage. But would Burnley prefer a free kick? This is Harrison. Played wide here for Vinicom. Gibb watches on him. Ford, Gibb, uh, Vinicom, and Steve Bladerwick in control, thankfully. Mr. Rock Steady, as he's known, Steve Bladerwick, the former Knotts Forest centre back. Blathers to his friends, I think. Here's uh, Andy Cook now. He just lays it off for Barnes. A good crossing from Barnes. And Howie, well, he was uh, on the floor, the shot from Ford, and that's a corner. Uh, goal kick though Lee Howie to the opportune moment to uh, collapse on the floor there Lee Howie not having the best of times at the moment up front Eighteen and a half minutes gone in the second half then. And, uh, well, should he still be on the field receiving treatment? How long do you... Uh, are you actually allowed to, the trainer to stop? And I thought the rules were you had to go off to get some treatment. And this is obviously a time-wasting tactic from Northampton Town. Two or three minutes certainly to be added on. It's 
going to be Woodman to take the goal kick for Northampton then. Gale goes in. Frayne kicks it long. Down that left side for them, Heggs. What a... Harrison away. Oops, that was a bit forceful. And that'll run out for a goal kick. In the cricket field, stand a good header from Howie, and that was brought down, brought down from Barnes, and Barnes is still not happy. It was uh, practically through, I would think, there on goal, and a free kick. I'd say it's small consolation that one. And Burnley will just have to break down this town defence. Waddle plays it in. Oh, and the header, well, he got a knock as well. Bad one by the look of this. It's how he went in for that one. Got a bang on the back of the head. Nick Worth quickly on to uh, resuscitate him. Woman dispatches long. Latherwick and Gale again in combat. That was a rather hardly driven the pass, in fact, to Marlon Beresford. He does likewise, looking for Cook there. He doesn't know where the ball is, he does now. Barnes crossing in. Oh, and. Uh, Leaping in here was uh, Mark Ford. Up to 67 minutes then, Blatherwick chasing this one back for Marlon Beresford, Gale looks on again. Nice little touch to uh, Chris Brass that time. That's when you'd probably expect the ball to bobble if you're trying to blast it from there. Cook, Waddle. Good football from Waddle, finds Vinicom in space on this left-hand side. Vinicom crosses in, oh, and the flick right across the face, again from Howie. And Burnley, well, looking in to score that one, but a corner to the Clarets then as Chris Waddle goes across for the umpteenth time to take a corner for Burnley. Howie's there. And again, it comes off the top of Howie's head. Goal kick to Northampton. Gale that time getting the better, the, probably the first time uh, off Steve Blatherwick, but uh, there's Chris Bass. Harrison, how he lays it off for Barnes, Barnes finds Harrison, Harrison, Vinicom left side for the Clarets. Harrison, Lee, how he gets Waddle, can Waddle come through here, pushing it wide for Cook, Cook comes in there, and this should be a goal, but Howie heads over the top from six yards, he certainly got the height to get that ball down, aiming for goal Lee Howie, but on that occasion, a little bit too high for him. Others waddle again on that far side. Cut the throw in. 
Paul, Paul Barnes doing well getting wide on that right hand side. You can see the logic in really taking off Paul Weller, allowing him to get wide to get the crosses in, and then the two strike forces of Cook and Howie. And Cook again. Barnes crosses in. Oh! Howie again, and he uh, missed his header that time. So Burnley really should have got the leveller by now. The excellent approach play, wing play, whatever you want to call it. And Burnley are causing a few problems, but the headers are not on target. All quiet and down again. It's going to be uh, Northampton with this throw in to take it oops push on John Gale there I'm sure he would be the first to uh, agree with me Harris for again to launch it for the Clarets Cook's there good header from Cook Howie heads it on looking again for Barnes <coughs> Gibb that was a foul by Ford Frustration, more <clears throat> frustration from Mark Ford there. Nothing malicious. Northampton will take their time with all their dead ball situations. Because they lead at the moment by goal to nil. Gib the scorer on 49 minutes for them. Barnes. Harrison just runs into trouble but does well. <clears throat> Gibbon on Vinicum and a throw in to the Clarets then. Still plenty of time for Burnley to pull this back and even go on to win it, in fact. Just keep the shape, keep patient, keep the ball on the floor. I'm sure they can pull this one round. This is Chris Brass. Runs straight into trouble, unfortunately. Harrison, neat ball for Waddle. In turn, square ball for Vinicum. Barnes. Gonna try one, Paul Barnes, it's way over the bar, unfortunately. But uh, you've got to keep firing the shots in, otherwise they'll never score, of course. An old cliche in football. Woodman has it again, he's going to take a goal kick when he's good and ready, of course. Gibb and told to hold the ball he's just done that and he's got his full back Clarkson here <clears throat> offside and the Clarets have a free kick now oh dear Another substitution. <coughs> Lee Howie goes off. Gordon Cowens, I think, is it? <laughs> Damien Matthew, I do beg your pardon. Damien Matthew then on for Lee Howie. Howie's uh, worked hard up front, but he hasn't had any success. And uh, Matthew gets his first game for months now, uh, after being in the reserves for quite some time for the Clarets. Gets a chance to prove himself once again. Former Crystal Palace man, of course. Forward, heads down, now then Barnes, can he? Was he impeded? Referee says no, and I don't think he was at the end of the day. Blatherwick for Brass.
Cheers from the Northampton following there behind Marlon Beresford's goal for that one going out of play. <laughs> Throw in at Northampton Town, flick on again. Matthew's first touch was a header. Blatherwick, and that was, uh, well, this is Matthew. Gets first touch into uh, trying to find Cook. Cook knocks it out, <laughs> trying to gain possession. Harrison for Barnes. Switching it here again for Vinicum, left side for the Clarets. And Damian Matthew, forward. Still forward. He's got players in support, Matthew's the man he's chosen. Square ball from Matthew for Harrison. Harrison right across the face over to Chris Waddle. Peeling away is Brassy. But Waddle's going to go it alone, is he? Yes, he loops it in, it's a good one too, and Barnes is there. And so too is the marker. And somehow Northampton clear it, a corner. <laughs> Matthew takes that corner then. It's a good one to a goal! It's a goal, it's more! So Neil Moore gets the goal for the Clarets. It's been a long time in coming, but by goodness, Burnley have really deserved it. They should have had a bag full. And thank goodness for that. <laughs> 76 minutes. Neil Moore rises with a header to give Burnley peg 11 here. Burnley won, Northampton Town won then, and Burnley set now for the final stage of this one. Three points is the next thing. Back for Marlon. Barnes. Vinicum does well. Matthew. Harrison. Harrison bursting forward here for Burnley. Looks dangerous, looks promising. Where does he go? He goes for the manager, Waddle. Chris Waddle on that far side again for the Clarets. Square ball in, a good one for Matthew, he's good at shooting. Damian Matthew gets a deflection and it's a corner. <laughs> Waddle's corner, all he's got into that one, the punch from Woodman, the keeper. A good punch as well, Burnley having to chase out for it. Oh, and Brass, that'll be out. That was a foul free kick at him. <laughs> 8,369 then here at Turf Moor for this uh, afternoon fixture. Matthew with the free kick, looking up to the far side, Blatherwick and Gale together, Blatherwick gets the header in and he dives down nearly on the cinder track over there. Nine minutes remaining, Burnley can still pull this one out for three points. Woodman to take the goal kick. This on the last Saturday of November, 1997 of course. That rather bit fouled as he uh, climbed up the back of John Gale. Go, 
Gibb. Barnes challenging him and a foul. Harsh words. Paul Barnes on uh, he's going to have to be careful here. Is Paul Barnes and uh, referee not responding? He's not happy with uh, how he went down the the chap Gibb. It's going to be a free kick with Frayne possibly to take. It is. He launched it at the back post. Headed away again by Moore. Hunter plays it in. Offside. gets a flick cut pursuit of this one pressure on the ball on Northampton defence played away by Brightwell Moore Vinicum Matthews cross comes in oh could have gone anywhere Waddle chasing that one back for Burnley he's got Harrison Peeling away, but Waddle goes it alone again. Barnes, oh, just over the head of Barnes. Hammered in by Ford, and still back with Ford. Burnley piling on the pressure, they're throwing everything by the kitchen sink at Northampton at the moment. Play on, says the referee, good decision. Here comes another kitchen sink for Northampton defenders. Waddle, brilliant stuff, brass to pull it back. Oh, goal! Bonds. Brilliant stuff. Paul Burns at the back post. He's been looking for those all season and he's got it today against Northampton. This could be three very vital points for Burnley. Paul Barnes getting the lead for the Clarets on 81 minutes here at Turf Moor. And this is turning into some match here. Finnegan with the throw. Gibb gets his head in the way. Matthew. Waddle. That goes to Northampton. Throw into Northampton Town and Burnley. Oops, there's a chance here for Cook. Spread at the keeper. Vinicum trying to get this ball here. Matthew. The foul on Damien Matthew. Referee, well, the substitution being made by the visitors, but a uh, time wasting perhaps there's no real time for them to time waste. They're uh, the trail by two goals to one. The right full back in Clarkson's coming off. Michael Warner's on then. And Ian Clarkson goes off. One substitute remains on the Northampton bench, Kevin Wilson. He's uh, he could be a thorn in Burnley's sides, he has been. When he played for uh, Walsall, of course, the 36-year-old veteran Irish uh, centre-forward. Right. 
racing now is Morley, lets that one roll back into his 18-yard box. And looking on is uh, David Seal. Long kick. Barnes couldn't get to it. Cook's battling away there. Barnes is in the... No, just get the ball, uh, Paul Barnes. He's still trying very, very hard. It's Harrison who's dogging Gibb. Now then, Barnes, can we get the ball across again? There's nobody up there. Harrison's here. Vinicom. Damien plays it in, Damien Matthew. Some good contributions since he's come on. Barnes to the byline, oh! So Burnley keeping up the pressure as they lead by two goals to one here at Turf Moor. Nationwide League Division 2, another corner to the Clarets. Waddle back for Matthew. Matthew in oceans of space here is Vinicom. Lays it off to the right hand side. Chris Brass, wing back, up in with play now. But he's going to take it right down into the corner here. It's a throw into Burnley. Goes the way of the visitors. An excellent goal from Paul Barnes in 81 minutes then. Neil Moore gets the equaliser on 76. It was Alistair Gibb who uh, caught us out on 49 minutes and in, just into the second half here at Turf Moor. A nonchalant flick from Gale and Moore, there's no messing from him. That's uh, John Gale. Oh! <laughs> Matthews header finds Cook on this near side. Burnley's left. Back for Vinicum. Vinicum, nice ball. Just perhaps a little bit too long for Mark Ford. <clears throat> and that goes out for a goal kick. Three minutes remaining of the game here. Three minutes from three points. Can Burnley hold out here at Turf Moor this afternoon? Blatherwick, Cook. Now here's Harrison. Oh, and this is good football. Can Cook finish? Oh, and a good shot from Cook and another effort. Oh, goodness me. There's been no doubt about Burnley's uh, commitment here this afternoon. Full of endeavour, 110%. And it's looking like, well, we don't say it, but uh, they're 2-1 in the lead. Brass. Here for Waddle. Waddle on his own this time. And try him on a shot from him. Straight at Andy, uh, Andy Woodman. A little bit of sting out of it, though. Moore with the header, here's Gibb, and uh, we all know what he can do. Gibb, oh, that one's for Marlin. Well taken. <clears throat> well, there's a bit of stoppage time, of course, for the injury to John Frayne. <clears throat> well, injury to uh, Lee Howie, but I don't think that went on for too long. <clears throat> Latherwick, Moore. Brass. There's a bit of time left yet, I can tell you. 
there's only uh, it's just coming up to the 90 a matter of seconds but there will be some stoppage time here and this is what Burnley don't need it puts the fans under enormous pressure having to defend these sort of things long throw in headed away by Waddle that time but still it's uh, Northampton Town who fire one in and uh, that's, uh, that'll do nicely thank you very much kick to the Clarets thought the referee was going to blow his whistle there Cook lays it off back for Vinicum Matthew Return ball for Vinicum. Vinicum just probably hold it up in the corner here. <clears throat> Matthew Cook lets it loops up. Nobody seems to be able to control it. It's like a, a slippery bar of soap there. Heggs inside for Gale. Whipped away by Ford. Puts the early ball in. Burnley have to defend this. And it's wide. Cook's header, looking for Barnes, Barnes on that far side, can he hold the ball up down there for a while? I'll be the order of the day if he can. That stoppage time being added on for John Frayne's injury, of course. And Andy Cook down there on that far side. It goes Claret and Blue, again. Chris Waddle's an old campaigner at this, he knows about that, but he's still a Burnley. I think it's gone down Bruncher Road, that one, never mind. Throw in. Ford. Oh, and no, it's not full time. It's a free kick to the Clarets. <laughs> Premature celebrations here at Turf Moor. The referee. Has also given it the way of Burnley, so that's a free kick. There's some more time to be uh, wasted from the Clarets, and why not? So, what's it going to be? <laughs> Short one back for Waddle, back in that corner, no doubt. Waddle will get the ball across. No, he's still got the ball. Just still don't want to put it over. That's it! Three very, very welcome points for Chris Waddle's Burnley side. A second half performance which can only be described as 120%. The commitment is back. The goals were excellent. And it's Burnley 3, Northampton Town 1. I'll correct that, I'm getting a wee bit carried away. It's Burnley 2, Northampton Town 1.